I ordered a Baofeng UV5R from Amazon the other day and it came in yesterday and I've had some time to explore it and figure out how to program it. When you open the box you get the radio with a charging station. You cannot charge the radio by plugging directly into it. You have to stick the radio in the little charging station. It comes with a earphone and microphone combination. The earphone gives me hearing damaging kerthunks and it basically sounds like it's being played through a pie plate so it's useless and you also get a manual which doesn't do anything for you. The rubber duck is also the usual rubber duck that you get with radios and what I've ordered is another longer antenna that fits it. I'll put the description of the antenna in the notes so that you can read what it is rather than rely on what I'm telling you. Programming this radio is complicated, but that's the nature of every small handheld radio that you have, regardless of the maker, ICOM, Yezu, or Kenwood. They all have their peculiarities that you have to learn, and once you do, then it's not that difficult as long as you can remember it which is why I recommend a cheat sheet. The secret to programming the Bao Feng is menu 13, 25, 26. And once you get that down, then you'll be able to program the, the radio for repeaters without much problem in the field. You can program it through your computer, but once you get in an emergency situation and you're out somewhere away from your computer you're going to find that everybody is using a frequency or a repeater that you haven't programmed in by your computer so please do learn how to program this radio manually and carry a cheat sheet with you because when you need it you're going to be able to program it by hand without any difficulty at all. The radio announces itself. You can choose between Chinese and English. Mine defaulted to English. Channel mode. It tells you whether it's in channel mode or frequency mode. Frequency mode. Frequency mode is what I would call VFO, and channel mode is memory mode for me. You program the radio from frequency mode, so be sure you're in via what I call VFO mode and I'm going to enter a pretend repeater that's on frequency 142500. 142500. To talk to the computer you have to transmit a control, a CTCSS tone. So you press the menu button menu. and select menu 13 and press menu again and it tells you that you're in the CTCSS mode. I'm going to enter 100 100.00 press menu again Confirm. and it writes it to memory and then you press exit and you're back out to operation. Now it's not necessary to press exit if you're quick so menu 13 25 26 so let's go to menu 25 Menu. and press menu again and you're in the shift mode that tells your radio whether the repeater wants you to shift up or down so I'm going it's timed out and gone back out to operation so I'm going to hit menu again menu. I'm still in 25 and I'm going to you can scroll with these arrows up or down to shift plus, minus, or off, so I'm going to put it on plus, confirm. press menu to confirm it, and then press 26 to set the offset. One of the problems with this radio is that it doesn't know offsets. The rule of thumb with American repeaters is that the offset for 2 meters is 600 kilohertz, and for 70 centimeters it's 5 megahertz, so I'm in 2 meters on this, 
I've timed out, so let's go back to 26. Menu. And I'm going to set the offset. Offset frequency. For 6 kilohertz, so I have to enter leading zeros. Zero, zero, six. And I've now got my offset six set for 6 kilohertz. Confirm. And I've confirmed it. And what I need to do now is write that to memory and I do that with memory channel 27. If I want it to a memory channel that's already been written to, I have to delete first, that's memory channel 28. So let's go to menu 27. Menu. Press menu to access it. Memory channel. And then I'm going to go to memory channel 35 and I'm going to press menu again. Receiving memory. And it says receiving memory, and there's the problem. What you do now is go to the asterisk scan key, which I'll call the star scan key. It's now t timed out of menu, and I'm back in the VFO mode, which I need to be in. I press the star scan key, and it reverses. I go back to menu, and I'm in menu tw 27 again, and I'm in channel 35, the same memory Every channel. channel. So when I press it again, transmitting memory. it saves it to transmitting memory. So by pressing the star scan key, I took it from the receive mode to the transmit mode, and it now works correctly. So I've saved my hypothetical repeater into channel 35, and my hypothetical uh, set up for my repeater in channel 35 of my memory and now when I go to channel 35 in my memory mode it will remember the offset, the shift, the whole shebang and it will transmit correctly in uh, shift mode for a repeater. So once you know that you're good to go out on the field in your emergency or in your fundraising event as it happens to be. Good luck and have fun.